All right, let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the gospel team in and girls at the quarter year in Kedja, Lagos. Guess what? We're hanging out, like we said, and it's going to be fun. In case you're not here, you're missing. We've already started having fun, but there's this time for you to be here. And before I go, I'll bring to you guests and people that are present here today. But stay with us. Don't go nowhere. Good evening, Mom. Good evening. Aww, how do you feel today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. Okay, so what do you have to say about gospel entertainment? Gospel entertainment is great. Gospel entertainment is a great movement. Um, I've, I've been part of the family for a while and I've been nothing but blessed. Alright, so what do you have to say to our viewers out there? About gospel entertainment? You should go to www.gospelgamer.com. Download the app. Why are you wasting time? Let I our ministry move, move forward. Hmm. <laughs> so, is you people happy? I know. So, is you people? She has told you. No, I cannot say any more things because this is our role on the gospel team, men and girls. Don't go nowhere. We'll be here and we Thank you for being with us. Lumi, she's here. So, I'm here to speak. She's here to speak. She's here to speak. All right, so what do you have to say? So, start speaking. Uh, <laughs> well, I think I resumed that. <laughs> All right, so what do you have to say about Gospel Day Men? Uh, I think what Gospel Day Men is a huge deal. Yeah. Because the music is getting up when you're actually at home. sound basic like oh everybody should have a social media strategy not everybody does and so for a social media strategy what it helps you to do is that okay and i'll give you an instance so when i joined andela i joined andela january 2nd of this year and they've been very active on social media because i actually followed andela on social media and all of that but there was no strategy so i'm like how are you engaging your 
you know, target audience and your consumers. So what we did was we had to force ourselves before the end of January to do a social media strategy. And the only way to do that is to ensure that your content is right first. You understand your target audience. So who are the people you want to appeal to? Um, do you want the older women? Do you want the young people on the streets? Do you want little kids? You know, depending on what your target audience is. You break down your target audience and then you do your content. So there are two key things. Identify your target audience. Once that is done, then you create your content in a way that would speak to your target audience. And what a social media strategy forces you to do is, it forces you to think ahead so that you are sure that at least this content is right for this audience. And so once that is done, you are good to go. Um, every brand, and you might just think, oh, all of these artists, there's no strategy. A lot of them, because I worked closely with them when I was in agency, a lot of them have a tight and coordinated social media strategy, and that's how come they are able to drive those numbers that we're seeing today. And so that means if you're going to take anything out of here, the first thing is you need to have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, you go back to your drawing board to say, what should be my tone? What exactly is my voice? What do I, what, what do I want people to know me for? And then most importantly, what content am I sharing to engage my target audience? The other thing um, that will be key again is that I know that you say, oh, I'm an upcoming artist. I may not be able to do paid advertising. No, you need to. And the reason for that is paid digital advertising, no matter how little that spend is, I'm sure a lot of you would have um, Facebook accounts where you just say, okay, let me see how many people will be able to click on this if I spend $2. And so you'll be shocked at the view. And so paid advertising works a lot. And the only reason why the, I, I sat down to just monitor the promotion behind that song and I'm like, yes, they need to achieve results. Because I'm on YouTube, I see, I see Nara. I'm on Facebook, I see Nara. I'm on Instagram, it's popping up. So you would, and I'm sure there's this pain behind that. And the beauty of digital advertising is because it's just that you can't, it's not restricted to Nigeria. So that means you can target anywhere, everybody, and then you can easily see your ROI. That's the beauty. So you're spending $2, you can see the results of the $2 right in front of you. You're spending $3, you can see the results of the $3. And so what I always advise people, you think about that money, that money is not always a lot. Even if it's $10 in a month, as an upcoming artist, push your brand, Ensure that you know your target audience and be able to put a little spend behind paid, uh, paid digital advertising because you would immediately see the ROI and the result. The other thing I'll talk about is um, creating communities. I know this might, it might sound vague, but depending on where your brand is and what you want to be known for, you need to create a community such that people are able to say, if you think about that lady, this is a niche. So creating a community, an example is um, Alleluia Challenge. I don't know who followed Nathaniel, um, Alleluia Challenge. Yeah. He has created a community that would, that has come to stay. That's what I'm saying. Because if he wants to do something again, look at his numbers. Because of Alleluia Challenge, his numbers doubled on Instagram, on Twitter, across board. He became an influencer such that Everybody and anybody wanted to be associated with him. And the only reason, I'm sure he just sat down, of course speaking to God to say, what exactly, how do I go about this? Then also sitting with his team to say, how do I create a community that I will continue to engage and a community that would, you know, thrive and will be here ahead of me. The final thing that I will talk about would be, um, you also need to identify the channels that works for you. And so, um, the former speaker talked about Tokwe Alabi. For Tokwe Alabi, Instagram might not be a forte, it might be Facebook. Because my mommy loves Tokwe Alabi. You know, all these older people, they really love Tokwe Alabi. My aunties, everybody. And of course, at the moment, they're probably not on Instagram, they're on Facebook. And so, if you think about your audience, you need to identify the channel that works for you. Is it Twitter? Is it Instagram? Is it YouTube? Is it... Um, some people is just WhatsApp. So you need once you've identified a channel that works for you, then you leverage on it such that you are able to get value from that channel that works for you.